So we're asked to derive the equation v is equal to u plus a t. So to derive this one, we start with the fact that acceleration is equal to the rate of change of velocity. So that means acceleration, then we can substitute in, just say a is equal to the change in velocity divided by time. So the change in velocity is going to be our final velocity minus our initial velocity. So it's v minus u and time is t. So we multiply across by t to get a t is equal to v minus u. And then we just rearrange this formula to get v on its own. So v is equal to a t plus u. And then to get it into the form that we were given to at the start, just rearrange the sides. V is equal to U plus A T. So we're asked to derive the equation S is equal to U T plus a half A T squared. So to start with this one, we're going to say that the average velocity, so V average is equal to the initial velocity, uh, which is U plus the final velocity, which is V over two. So that's the average velocity. So V average is equal to U plus V over two. But we know that V is equal to U plus AT from equation one. So we can substitute that in and say that V average is now equal to U plus U plus AT over two. Now we can also say that velocity is equal to displacement over time, so s over t. So we can substitute that in over this side to say s over t is equal to, now we have 2u plus a t over 2. So if I want to get s on its own then, I'll multiply across by t, so s is equal to t times 2u plus a t, so that'd be 2u t plus a t squared over 2. And then on the right hand side, we can just divide that 2 in. So we get s is equal to 2u t divided by t is u t. And then a t squared divided by 2 is half a t squared. And that's what we were looking for. s is equal to u t plus a half a t squared. So we're asked to derive the equation v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. To derive this one, we start with equation 1, which is v is equal to u plus at. And what we're going to do now is we're going to square both sides. So that would be v squared is equal to, and squaring this side, we get u squared plus twice the product. So that's plus 2uat plus a squared t squared. Now on the right hand side what we're going to do is we're going to factor out from here 2a and that will leave us with ut plus a half a t squared. Now we know that ut plus a half a t squared, this bit here is equal to s. So s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared. So we can substitute that in. So now we have v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as, which is what we were asked to derive in the first place.